Hey guys and welcome to today's painting tutorial which is how to paint the ocean in acrylics in three easy steps. I've also just opened up a Patreon page so if you want to be one of my first patrons and go and support what I do and me making videos then go and check out the link in the description box. Okay, so I've got a selection of brushes here. I've got a palette knife and the colors yellow, orange, Prussian blue, and cerulean hue. Blue, blue hue. <laughs> but anyway, uh, just use whatever you've got available. That's absolutely fine. I've also got a little jar of water here and an old tea towel to absorb water from my brush. Okay, I'm gonna put the palette knife aside because we're gonna be using that a little bit later on. And I'm just gonna squeeze out all my colors. Okay, ooh, ooh, it's a bit gloopy. Okay, so I'm gonna begin with the widest brush that I have today. And we're gonna do the like first layer, which is the background layer, which we always do. And then we'll add things on top. So let's start with step one, which is the background layer. So rinse off your brush in your water and just dab it so it's like semi-dry. I'm actually going to start with the blue for the blue sky. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to make it nice and workable. Oh, we haven't got a white. We need a white. Okay. Let's add some white. Oh, I don't know where to put it. Let's put it up here. Definitely need some white. And I'm going to add a little bit of white. Shot car. I'm also going to add a little bit of orange and I'll tell you why. Here's a quick lesson in colour if you're not aware. So orange and blue, as you can see, which is the orange and blues that we've got, like orange and the blue, they are directly opposite on the colour wheel, which means that if you add them together, they get more and more grey. So here you can see the orange and the blue if you add them together, the colour becomes less intense. So that's what we're going to do for the sky. So I've added a little bit of orange in there and you can see it's just taken the tone down that just a little bit. And I'm going to start popping in the sky. Don't worry too much, um, especially about the top bit because we're going to be painting over that anyway. This is just to build up the layers. And so that if any sky does show through, then it's this lovely blue color. And I'm gonna add a little bit more white and a little bit more orange. And just pop that in. And colour mixing is the secret to making paintings look more realistic and more professional. So I'm going to blend that out because this is like the background sky and we're going to add the cl uh, clothes. <laughs> we're going to add its clothes in a minute. <laughs> clouds. I suppose clouds are the sky's clothes in a way. In a very weird way. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is add a bit more orange and a bit more white till I get a nice toned down orange, peachy, sort of like a nothingness really, a bit of just a greyish tone. Mm, maybe a smidge more orange. I'm just going to add a bit of water. And then I'm going to put that in and we're going to blend that through. So to blend, we can just go from side to side, up and down, and we can also go diagonal and then side to side again. That will just help that extra blend. Mm. 
okay? I'm pretty happy with that. And then I'm going to take it to the blue again. But again, I'm not going to worry too much about that because we'll probably be going over this. So basically what we've done in effect is create a bit of a mirror, mirror image, which is good because this is a seascape painting tutorial. And the sea obviously reflects whatever's in the sky. So the bottom bit doesn't have to be as blended because obviously there's going to be waves and things like that. Okay, so I'm going to rinse out my brush and we're going to wait for this to completely dry. Okay, so for the next layer we're going to add the clouds. I'm going to move down a size in my brush. So this is a size 12 in a short flat bright. Because uh, now we're going to start adding in the clouds. So taking some Prussian blue, which is a very dark blue, and adding some orange because we don't want it to be super blue, just dark. And I'm going to take this down from the top. And we'll probably be adding some highlights over the top of this. So again, don't worry too much. Just want a bit of a cloud shape. I'm gonna bring that in from the side a little bit as well. Okay, so next I'm going to take some orange, I'm going to rinse out my brush because it's gone a little bit muddy. So next I'm going to take some of the orange again, I find new space on your palette if it's gone a bit muddy. I'm going to add just a little bit of the blue, not much, just a little smidge. We've got a bit of like a golden colour. And then I'm going to take this up into what we've just done. And this is going to be like sort of the underside of the cloud where the sun is still shining on. And this is why it's great to use a flat brush because you can go for quite a big brush stroke, but then at the same time you can turn it and use it, use that flat edge to create some clouds. I'm also just gonna pop some of that in the sky as well. Uh, and then I'm going to rinse out my brush again. So obviously because it's a seascape painting, the bottom is going to be reflected. So I'm going to take, while it's still wet, the same mixture. And obviously it's going to be reflected onto water, so it's not going to be exactly the same. But we want to sort of reflect what it is that we've already done here. Okay, and then I'm going to rinse out my brush. Okay, I think I'm going to wait for that to dry now because we're going to go in with some more highlights onto the clouds that we've just done. 
So I'd really love to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different videos where you can deepen existing passions, explore new skills and get lost in your creativity. They have a multitude of videos on all sorts of creative topics like painting, drawing, photography, website design, anything you can think of that is creative there will be videos on it. I'm really enjoying Experience the Outdoors, a beginner's guide to watercolour landscapes by Khadija. She is a watercolour artist and she explains how you can paint plain air while you're out and about with your sketchbook and your watercolours which is something that I'm really interested in doing more of. Skillshare is created specifically for learning so there are no adverts to distract you whilst you're learning and it means that you can stay focused. There are lots of different skill levels to choose from too so whether you're a complete beginner or you're a master at your craft there's something out there for everybody. Skillshare's offer today is that the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity today. So a massive thank you to Skillshare today for sponsoring this video and I hope that you guys enjoy their videos. Okay, so that layer is pretty much dry. There's little tacky areas, but that's fine. I'm gonna move down a size brush as well to a size eight. So we're gonna do, a, not detailed, but a little bit more detailed than we have been doing. I'm gonna take an orange and I'm gonna take it directly onto little bits that we've just done. Not loads of orange, but just, it's quite an intense color. Just little bits. And I'm gonna take this orange and mix it with some white. So we get a really nice pale orange. I might even pop a little bit of yellow in there. Just a very, very small amount. Okay, and then we're gonna go over some of the clouds to really build it uh, on what we've already done. So, And like we said before, I'm gonna take this down again for the reflection. So it's weird because we don't really have a horizon line at the minute, but that's fine. We'll get to that. And this is a way you can change it up as well because if you want a really smooth, um, ocean you can just blend out these lines and make it super smooth so you've got like you know clouds that are quite chunky and then a really smooth water I'm gonna go for waves so I kind of want it still to be uh, what's the word chunky that's not really the right word but you know what I mean basically not smooth bits here and there and reflections and I feel like it'll bring some energy to it Okay, and then I'm gonna rinse off my brush. Okay, so once that layer has dried, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a lighter layer. So I'm gonna take some of the cerulean blue and add in some white and a smidge of orange just to take that intensity down. Oh yeah, that's a pretty colour, I like that. And I'm gonna like 
pop this in along the middle. So it's up to you if you want to like do really careful brush strokes. I'm just going to kind of let my brush do the work and obviously take that down because of the reflection too. And because it's a reflection, I'm going to bring it all the way down here. Okay, and rinse off your brush. And again, I'm gonna wait for that layer to dry. So taking some of the orange and adding in a quite a fair bit of the yellow just to make it look yellowy. So it's nice and bright. That's it, nice and golden, like a golden glow. Uh, and I'm going to bring this into the sky a bit more. So there's like a golden glow coming from the sunset. You can bring that right up into some of the clouds that we've already put in. And then of course I'm going to bring it down here as well. Okay, and then rinse off your brush. Okay, so next I'm going to take some Prussian Blue with orange and white. So we're going to try and make a grey. Add a bit of the cerulean in as well, actually, and a bit of the orange. Uh, yeah, I think that's about right. Maybe a bit more white and a bit more orange. So, yeah, that's definitely like a warm grey now. Now I've got to decide where I want the horizon to be. I think I want the horizon to be about here. So, I'm going to take this down and these are like background clouds wispy background clouds I'm going to add in a bit of Prussian blue actually I think it's maybe a little bit too light And then maybe just drag some of that in from the sides too. And I'm going to rinse my brush out. So I'm going to create a mixture now from Prussian blue and orange. So it's a really dark, like the same as what we've got up here. Putting uh, most of the paint, it has got some paint on the bottom, but I want most of the paint to be on the edge, like this. You can see that? You don't want too much paint, uh, just enough so it's on the edge. And we're going to just drag it across for the horizon. So we want to be really exact where we want the horizon. So you can measure different ways. I'm just going to use a paintbrush to measure it. So let's say... We go to about there. So I'm just gonna like put a little mark there 
and measure it on my paintbrush and then make sure I do the same the other side, just about there. And then I'm just gonna drag it across. Now this is kind of scary, but. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is create some waves, so. At the start, you want them to be going across. And then you can start to make them go sort of like diagonally. I'm just going to make a little bit more mixture. And then as they come out to the forefront, I'm going to bend it round slightly. So this is like the bit where there's really like thin waves right at the front of the ocean. I don't know what it's called, I've forgotten. Okay, I think that's pretty much done. I feel like there needs to be a little bit more wave here. And I'm gonna just bulk up this a little bit. And in fact, I'm gonna take some white and add that to the mixture that we've just been using. And I'm gonna do the same thing, get in that mixture and just add in that on some of the waves. There's a highlight. Okay, I think that's done. So there we go, there is our ocean sunset painting in acrylic. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed that video. And let me know in the comments which tutorial you guys would like next. I've got loads of different painting tutorials which you can get stuck into. So I'll list the playlist here and I'll see you there. Bye.